Don't forget to like and subscribe to Evolve MAP. Hello, this is Amber Zinke with Evolve Electrical. Today we're going to be talking about my top favorite features within Evolve Electrical. So to dive right in, first we're going to be talking about the hanger placement. This one is a huge time saver and I definitely love not having to place in manual hangers anymore. So first we're going to window select our grouping of conduit and I'm going to go into my place hanger feature and I'm going to go into my settings. So from here we can create a new profile or we can edit our created profile. To edit an existing profile, just select the profile that you would like. And then from there, you can adjust your placement. So do you need to adjust your spacing, distance from end, add some rounding? We do have mirror lock hangers. So if you need that for that project, you can have those as well. So to get in the fun stuff, we have our family settings. So we have an auto detect type. So we'll detect if you need a single tier, two tier, three tier, or four tier hanger. We have our hanger attachments, so you can adjust your attachments. So do you need an embed, a blue banger, all that good stuff. And then for your strut configuration, do you want your kind of on top, bottom, what is your shot size? And then also what is your shot type? Then you can adjust your rod configuration, so your gap distance, and you can also immediately put in a beam clamp. Then you can adjust if you want a center rod and your hardware size. And then from there, we have collision detection, which is super cool. We have an enable auto collision adjustment, which will actually scan your view and place the hanger in the best location to avoid any clashes. But if there's a bunch of different stuff, we also do have a highlight and movable hangers as well. So from there, we press OK and go into our options. So this is where you're going to have attached to. So near structure overhead, distance will level, a linked model, or reference plane. For your placement, we have some modes for placing your hangers down the entire path, change direction, or a single hanger. So from there, you're going to choose the direction you want your hangers to be placed, and there you go. Now you have all of your hangers perfectly placed, taking consideration the spacing and also your coordination. On to the next feature, we have spooling. So this again is a huge time saver. So to get started, we can define our spool. So the naming can be whatever makes sense to you. And then from there, you now have a defined spool. I currently have assemblies turned off in that view, but in this view, you can see the grouping of my assembly. I also do have a filter turned on here to change colors of my spool. In this situation, I have it blue. So I take that spool and I'm gonna go into my spool manager, which allows me to be able to quickly generate my sheets for that spool. So I'm gonna choose my title block and press okay. So what this is gonna be doing is it's gonna be creating all of my views and schedules for me for that spool. So I can actually play around with this view, get everything to be where I want it to be. And also I can then go in place in my takes and dimensions for that drawing as well. So it's nice. You're going to see your conduit schedule, your build material, your cut list. And what's really cool is you're able to see on the sides, we have more schedules and views. So you can actually come into our title block and edit that. So if you want a different schedule somewhere, if you want to turn on or off different views or schedules, you can do that right within there as well. So again, it's just playing around with what you need for that drawing. So the last thing I'm going to go over today is our Ben families. These are definitely game changers when it comes to bends and being able to coordinate. To get this going, we're going to window select our conduits and place in some single location couplings. So from there, I'm going to select my couplings and come in here and I'm going to swap my couplings out for whatever bend I need. So first, I'm going to show you our offset. And you're going to see it's going to turn translucent, which I love because we can convert this, swap it out for different bends, unconvert it, do all that good stuff. Again, design changes, you're not having to delete things, just modifying things. So again, to modify it, we can actually do some rolling offsets, which again, super awesome, not having to reconstruct your bends. We can actually roll the opposite direction. We can adjust our roll distance. There's a lot of really great things that we can come in here and edit to get it to be exactly what you need for your coordination needs. We also can come in here and reverse our fixed end. So again, just get it exactly what you need for that drawing itself. So from there, I'm going to unconvert it and I'm gonna actually swap it out for my favorite bend, which is our four point saddle. This is huge to me because I hated four point saddles in Native Revit. Four point saddles within Evolve is just a game changer on the way of not being frustrated on trying to get this going. You can actually do a rolling saddle, which is 
next to impossible in Ada Revit, but again, if you need it, you have it with Evolve. So super cool to be able to have that peace of mind. So that is today's fun feature Friday on the top three features that I love so very much. If you have any questions or want to see more of my favorites, please visit our website and request a demo. Thank you.